How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Lootastic and to another Loot News video. We've got some Borderlands 3 news, so let's get right into it. Dodging all of the criticism and scrutiny Gearbox, Take 2, and Borderlands 3 are getting for almost everything they do, like having an Epic Game Store 6 month exclusivity deal and the Steam review bombing, which yes, is an interesting argument. Randy Pitchford replying to hate on Twitter in a very negative way, the Troy Baker drama, dodging all of that, there's some cool news to talk about and a new trailer I haven't went over yet which we'll be playing in the background for you all right now. First, we have some minor details on the new characters you'll be able to play as in Borderlands 3, the new badass Vault Hunters you'll be taking control of. First off, there's Moes, the mercenary class who can digestruct a huge 10 ton walking killing machine armed with some big guns. A teammate can also ride on top of said mech for extra fun, of course. Next up is Zane, a wealthy, semi-retired hitman who utilizes hologram clones and other gadgets, also my personal favorite character out of the four. Then you have Flack, a robotic wanderer who can control different beasts to do his bidding. And last but not least you have Amara, a siren who specializes in melee combat and can smash foes to bits with her psychic fists. All these characters sound super rad, but my day one choice will 100% be Zane. Although across the internet, the fan favorite seems to be Flack, and I totally understand why. Moving on, we have some new news on the guns in Borderlands 3, more specifically brands and brands loyalty. Previously in Borderlands, we had multiple different brands of weapons, and each brand had their own thing. Whether it's elemental damage with Malawan, throw your gun like a grenade with TDR, etc. Every brand had basically a gimmick. Well, much like everything in Borderlands 3, they are upping this feature. The brand gimmicks are way, way better. Vladoff weapons are returning, and they are rapid firing guns that support under barrel attachments like tasers. Tasers. Rocket tubes and additional gun barrels. Okay. Okay, sure. Children of the Vault weapons have infinite ammo, but randomly overheat. And they also look very alien-like. Cool, but like a weird kind of style. Atlas guns allow you to hit enemies with tracker tags, then shoot volleys of bullets that follow your target, where those trackers were. Sweet. Jacob's weapons, well... I'll just read you the description verbatim. Deliver devastating critical hits to enemies soft and sensitives, then joy puke as your bullets ricochet towards other targets. Great. Weapons from the Doll brand have alternate firing modes that you can switch between depending on your playstyle or predicament. Hyperion weapons come with a deployable shield when you aim down the sights. Torg weapons can alternate between regular and sticky projectile fire modes. Stickies do more damage if a ton of them detonate on the same target. Malawan weapons now let you toggle between two different element types. And TDR weapons still allow you to throw your gun when you reload, but instead of them exploding like a grenade, now they grow legs and pursue targets. Assumedly with the remaining bullets in the mag at the time you reload it and a new gun digistructs in your hand. Lots of cool stuff, and these are just the basic things that the brands do. We haven't even seen legendary items and what they are capable of, or even higher tier rarities. It is interesting though, because on Borderlands' website, it describes this specific section as brand loyalty, as if there will be some kind of gameplay system that either rewards you for using the same brands or maybe allows you to upgrade brands to increase their effectiveness or evolve their gimmicks. I think it's way too early to tell, but it's still fun to think about. Other random tidbits of new things that we found out or I missed in my previous videos, they added a uh, slide mechanic so now you can slide in the game, cool. I'm hopeful that maybe, just maybe, they'll add a vaulting mechanic as well so you can climb over small objects in your way instead of having to just run around everything even if that thing is super small and you should be able to walk on top of it. Don't be like Destiny and make me like struggle to walk up certain stairs or like weird rocks that protrude from the ground. Just let me kind of get over them, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, sorry for that tangent. 
The super cool diamond loot chest collector's edition of Borderlands 3 sold out in just over an hour, so I didn't get one. Yet. But, diamond is a really interesting name, so I wonder if diamond may end up being a new rarity. That would be dope. The worldwide gameplay reveal of Borderlands 3's gameplay is on May 1st, so make sure you're ready for that. I'll be covering all the news as soon as it drops here on Lootastic. But that's all for this Borderlands 3 news update video. As always, this video is brought to you by Lootastic, where you get all the legendary loot news and info free of charge, no grind or limbs required. Like the video for an outhouse full of guns and subscribe for a key to a vault. Until next time, happy looting.